Hi everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs and today I want to talk about what kind of earnings you can expect on YouTube. Yes, if you didn't know, you can actually earn money from your videos on YouTube. So let's talk just a little bit about how to do that. Now, you first you need to be a member of YouTube in good standing. I don't really know exactly what all the rules are, but you need to have been on YouTube for uh, a little while, you need to have posted a couple of videos, and there's been no objections to your videos, no copyright infractions, or no other issues related to your videos. You need to be a member in good standing. Once you are a member in good standing, then you're allowed to monetize your videos. That's the term that YouTube uses. When you monetize your videos, that means that your videos can now earn money. And finally, when you uh, monetize them, there's a couple of different ways in which you can earn money. Of course, they earn money by carrying advertising. That's how they earn money. They carry ads. One way is at the bottom of the video, there's a little strip there that has an ad on it. And you can click on it. You can also click on the little X on the upper corner of that, and it'll, it'll make that go away. So one kind of advertising is the little strip that shows up on a YouTube video. The other kind of advertising is a commercial that runs before the video. Now, as the owner of the video, if it's your content and you decide to monetize it, you can choose which of those two you want to do. You can have the commercial or you can have the strip. And they pay different amounts of money. Exactly what they are, there's a magic formula that only YouTube knows and YouTube isn't going to talk about it. But I will talk a little bit about that today to kind of give you some guidance as to how much you can expect to earn on different kinds of videos. On my videos, for the most part, I have only used a little strip ad, so I don't really have experience with the commercial type of advertising that runs before the video. So I'm only going to talk about the earnings that I've made from the little strip ad. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about that. Now behind me you can see the screen. This is my YouTube account showing on the screen behind me. And this is how I normally view my account. This is called the video manager mode. So that's how I generally like to do it. Uh, a lot of times when you go to a YouTube account, it, it comes up on the channel, on the YouTube channel view, and that has strips of video, uh, videos going horizontally across the screen. This is how I like to do it, because I like to see how many views I've gotten, and how many uh, comments I've received, and how many thumbs up, and that sort of thing, which shows up in this, uh, in this view here. So this is the video manager view. Now to see how much I've earned on my videos, I need to go to the analytics view, which is down here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and bring up analytics. This is what the analytics screen looks like when it comes up for me. Now notice that it comes up that it's showing the videos for the last 28 days. And this will show me what my views have been for the 28 days, how many minutes my videos have been viewed, and how much I've uh, earned, my estimated earnings in the last 28 days. Now, it used to be that it was 30 days. They've gone to 28 days for some reason. I'm not sure. I'm sure that whatever the reason is, I'm sure it's convenient for YouTube and Google and not necessarily convenient for us, the users of YouTube and Google, uh, because I, it seems like we don't have a heck of a lot of say in that. In any event, here's what I've earned on my videos for the last 28 days. Not a great amount of earnings, but it's something. Let me speak about my videos for just a moment. On this particular YouTube channel, on my personal YouTube channel, I have more than 200 videos of uh, tremendous different varieties. I've got uh, some videos that only have a few views. I've got some simple things where I pointed a camera at an animal and watched an animal do something simple like birds in my backyard and that sort of thing. I have a viral video, a video that has millions of views. And I'll be talking about that in just a moment. I also have many other things. I do like news features. Maybe there's an event going on in my local community. So I'll shoot a video about that and put that on YouTube. And I also have some how-to videos. This is how to do this, how to do that. In one case, it's how to install a generator. I've got a couple of car how-to videos and a variety of other how-to videos. I'll be talking more about those as well. So, as you can see, this is my analytics that's telling me what the basics are of uh, my YouTube videos in the last 28 days. I can scroll down this, and now you can see here are what my individual top 10 videos are in terms of their views. So these videos are my top 10 videos in terms of views in the last 28 days. They are organized here from top to bottom by number of views. This is my number one video by views and uh, this is my number 10 video by views. This only shows 10 right here. Now I can also click 
to sort them by the number of minutes they've been watched. I don't really know that that's a terribly useful thing. I can also sort them by their earnings. So if I come over here, I can see which of my videos has been the top earning video. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now you can see that uh, although I have a video here with 22, more than 22,000 views, it's not my top earning video. In fact, it hasn't even earned as much as half of what my top earning video has earned, even though the top earning video has many fewer views than the other video. Why? My top viewed video is the viral video. It's a, basically, it's a cat video. It's a mama lion knocking one of the lion cubs into the moat around the lion enclosure at the zoo. It's a 34 second video and it's been very popular. There are times when it's earned a tremendous amount because it got a huge number of views. But the number of views is tapered off, still gets good views, but not the gigantic views it was getting there for a little while. Still, it's earned more than $8 in a 28 day period. But this other video, which has just under 1,700, it has 1,648 views, has earned more than $16.5. And that's a how-to video. That's a video of uh, my neighbors who are living in the direction my thumb is pointing right there. They installed a backup generator to provide power for their home in the event of a power failure. So that's a how-to video that shows how to install a residential backup generator. That video earns much more per view than the viral video earns. The viral cat video earns money at the rate of about 0 .08 cents. In other words, less than one-tenth of one cent per view. Every time somebody views it, it earns less than a tenth of a cent. On the other hand, the video that shows the installation of the backup generator, that earns at the rate of about six-tenths of a cent. So in other words, the video that's the how-to video uh, makes earnings at about seven times greater than the viral video. Now what does this add up to over time? If you go back up here and click on lifetime, now you can see what the lifetime statistics are for these videos. Now, over the course of a lifetime, I have more than 6 million views. Almost all of those, a great percentage of those, is the lion cub being knocked into the water video. I've got more than 5,100,000 views of that video alone. It's truly been a viral video. Uh, another popular video of mine shows the installation of photovoltaic panels on my home. That video has done very well. It has earned more than $500 on many, many fewer views than the cat video. The residential backup generator has more than 40,000 views and it's earned more than $241 over the course of its lifetime. Lots of you shoot videos that show a musical performance. On YouTube, if you shoot a video that has a musical performance for which somebody else owns the copyright, YouTube will not allow you to monetize that. So, in other words, if you shoot a performance of your favorite band, you go to a concert of a favorite band and they're playing one of their songs, usually YouTube will know that that song is a copyrighted song and it will uh, not allow you to monetize it. It will allow you to put it on YouTube, but you can't monetize it. YouTube will monetize it and earn money from it, but they won't give you any of that money. Now, if you have a video, a music performance video, of material that's not copyrighted, then you can monetize it. So one of my videos is a Bach song, a Johann Sebastian Bach song called Jesu, Joy of Man's Desiring. This is a song by Bach that was written around 1800 or so. So it's long been out of copyright. The performance was a street performer playing a very unusual instrument. And as you can see here, that is actually one of my top earning performers. It is my uh, sixth performer of all time. Now that video earns money at the rate of about a tenth of a cent per view. So that actually earns a little bit higher on a per view basis than the cat video earns. So if you have a performance video that's reasonably popular and uh, there's no copyright issues or performance copyright issues related to that, you can earn some money with those performance videos. But still, my own personal experience is that the lowest rating thing, the lowest in terms of per view uh, earnings, is uh, a cat video. It's earned a lot overall because it's gotten millions of views, but on a per view basis, it earns 
considerably under a tenth of a cent. Uh, good performance video can earn about a tenth of a cent per view. However, a interesting um, how-to video that shows a process that somebody is interested in, that a lot of people are interested in, can not only get thousands of views, you see the residential backup generator has gotten more than 40,000 views in less than two years, but it can earn some reasonable money. You know, it can earn, uh, in this case, 241 bucks, and it continues to earn 15, 16 dollars a month or so, which is, you know, not too bad. So that is a look at what you can actually earn with your videos on YouTube. Uh, it's not obvious when you are on YouTube what they can earn. Uh, I did some searching and I couldn't find anybody else who talked about that specific subject. I hope this helps. If you have any questions for me about what my videos earn and, and how I go about figuring out, you know, in my own mind, what I'm going to shoot based on whether it's going to be a good earner or not, I'll be happy to talk about that in the comments for this video. In the meantime, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.